Hey guys, Majeffries here, and welcome back to the Majeffries Network on OpenTTD. We are back here at GSG. We've got work to do. So, that sounded really sinister. I didn't mean that to sound sinister. I meant it to sound um, sincere, because we have got work to do. We've got a lot of work to do. we got to put ourselves some trains in. So, um, really, you had to freeze now. There we go. Let's pause this for a second, just while I'm scrolling around. So, I've currently switched off the Metro. Don't panic. Um, it's not going. I just switched it off for now, because I was in the middle of organising lines and stuff. And uh, it actually made me realise that the, the Metro itself is a mess. The actual stations and stuff are fine, but the trains and the schedules and all of that stuff is a mess. So, the Metro is currently switched off, but it will be coming back, so don't panic. Um, it's not gone anywhere, per se. What I'm currently doing is looking for... Why are you in that platform? You should not be in that platform. You should be in platform 6. Funny enough, with the Metro. So that's not gone right. Let's see. U30. Right, good. Sort yourself out. Um, so yeah, we've got some work to do over here. Now, let's very quickly bulldoze a hell of a lot of stuff here and upset a lot of people because they don't like me bulldozing. I I get that, you know I do, but at the same time, it has to happen. People have actually come out in support of it now. It's almost like there's a campaign being started, um, <laughs> which I find quite funny sort of protect the bulldoze uh, that sort of thing one two three four five six perfect fit look at that might not even be using this today's episode I just wanted to build another one in to go along with that one if I was to do one here it would be for a little shuttle service that would go between Wardinghatton and not GSMA GSG and it will actually utilize this turn back siding as well that hasn't been used in ages. in fact let's do that let's bloody do that. But let's do that in a way that it's actually going to work. So I'm just looking up here. Is there anywhere where I could fit a set of sidings in as well? I don't think there is. So it looks like we just have to have an extra weight over here. Right, hang on. I could actually use some of the withdrawn electric trains for this, can't I? you for example you look like you're the right length go all the invalid orders right so you're gonna go actually is this even in the right spot let's have a look oh yeah it is This is what's frustrating me, because the, the real terminus platform is over here, platform 1. But this is on the far side. So these tracks disappear off in that tunnel, and they don't reappear again until over here. And I don't really want trains having to s slalom across in front of the fast trains. So that now means that the slow trains have to come in here, go up one, along. Which I think they... do they do that? Do you do that? Yeah, you do do that. Okay. In that case, it's not too bad. I can live with it. Right, you go there, you go there, you go there, you go there. You then go there. You, no loading. You, service. Right, good. You then go through Long Tunnel, and you go into Platform 3. Like so. And then from here, well, you get the idea. Run till twice. Uh, that's a point. That's non electrified. That's fine then. 
up this way, New Honningbury twice. I want to change this actually, because we've got this connection um, onto this, but I want this to be a single track connection. So we're going to get rid of this second line. And the reason I'm doing that is because it really bugs me every time I, I look at that, because I think that's where the track goes, and it's not where the track goes at all. So I'm going to do that. So the main line now turns and heads east. And this is just a single track connection that links the metro up with the overground. Uh, the main line, sorry, not the overground. That's a completely different thing. Alright, Bredhatton. Ronville. Uh, Gutbridge. Okay, now we head into the uh, the nitty gritty again. So we've got to go. <laughs> this junction is getting more and more complex every time I look at it, but it still looks very simple when you just look at the fact that there's all these lines next to each other. All right, so th th at this point we're going to go into slow west like that. And then there, 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 and there. <coughs> like that. And then it's down here like this. And then it's along here like this. Now here, you're going to go into this platform. Then into the turn back. And then into this platform. I think, and then away. Now in the future we will have a train that will just pull into here and then pull out again. And maybe from this side pull in and pull out. I don't like doing it with this. I suppose I could take the signal off there. I don't think that will fix it though. And then I'll just end up being a, a pointless um, thing. Right. GSG, that one, no loading. You are far end, no loading, no unloading. Right, so timetable, relatively easy to fill out. So you go into P5, 15 mile an hour limit. You leave Warding Hatton here, 30. After Bathingford, actually you've got to go into the Bathingford at 30 as well. Uh, it's full speed all the way up to here, where you go down to 30 again. And then from here it's 30 pretty much the entirety of the way. Now I haven't put waypoints on Guard City Exchange still, or at least I don't remember doing it. Did I do it? No. Because at this point it really doesn't matter which platform the train comes into because it's always going to stop at GSG in this direction and it's always going to stop at uh, GSMA in that direction. So it just doesn't matter. Um, unless you're actually wanting to get on a specific train. In real life it would matter a little bit more. On here, eh, mind you in, in, on this game it doesn't matter anyway but even so. Actually into the turn back it's going to be 15, isn't it? Because it's a dead end. Then you come back at 30. Interesting. Right, Guard City Exchange. Do that. There's St. Mark. Do that. And then it's full speed ahead all the way down to Bathingford again. Uh, is there a waypoint before Bathingford that I missed? There isn't. I feel like perhaps there should be. Although at this point it's going 75 miles an hour so it probably doesn't matter as much. Yeah, maybe I'm just being fussy. Anyway, that's 15. Uh, and that's 15. That's my phone, and that's 30. I didn't want to do scheduled. I wanted to do autofill. 
Oi, right. Orders. Um, where is this train actually? Thought so. How the hell does it end up all the way over at Plaything Field? That's what I want to know. How does that even happen? But, because it has happened. See, what are those options? What's a conditional order jump? Don't know. Don't really care right now either. Um, yeah, I want to skip these along. Something like Gutbridge, so it actually has a reason to be going fast. Let's see, you're 135. Actually, let's rename this first. So this is technically part of the North South franchise at this point, which is there. <coughs> Let's, uh, let's open you up. So you are... Not that. You are an all-stopping electric. Um, WC to GSG. You are... 12 units long. Does that already exist? Where does that exist? Ah, <gasps> You're there! Oh, well, you're moving into that one. Because you are technically north-south. Right. You. What type of train are you? BREL313. You are BRAM10. Max speed is the same. This one is stronger, though. So, actually... Okay, what I'm going to do is your 135. I'm going to move you into that category. And then I'm going to say that um, place vehicles. See, that's the one I want to replace. Why is it not on there? Do I have to unpause the game or something? Why is it not on there? That's really weird. Okay, so... You're 135, you're 37. See, what I actually want to do here, then, is... Add all of these to withdrawn electric. They will get a use elsewhere on the network, I'm sure. Um, I keep closing that down and I don't mean to. Right. North, south. There it is. That one. Why can't I buy that vehicle? Have I lost that vehicle? Oh, it's there. BRAM10. What's wrong with this? I just bought that in completely the wrong place. Let's, uh, let's pretend that didn't happen, shall we? Right, over here. Oh, hang on. I'm starting to get the feeling that you can't run on... Um, Okay. I think I've just sussed the problem. That's fine. Um, let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. We'll keep you pinned for now. Let's 
Do that, move you to there, move you to there. No, come on. Yeah, I think I'm using a train that can't go on third rail, which is why I can't buy it at this depot. So what I do here is you are 135. So I go down to 135, which is that one. Go that, that, hold control on you, and then I'm just going to completely get rid of this train, like so. And I'm going to clone that one. You should now be 135. Awesome. Get rid of 454. Your orders should be as they are. Yep. Fantastic. Ungrouped. Drag you down. And there you go. That's how you fix that problem. Uh, where did that come from? There. Right. So you are now ASE. Good. You can set you to autofill. And two, three, four. So we're only going to have four trains doing this little shuttle route. Um, considering the rest of the trains that will come through here will actually be part of that anyway. So close that. We'll keep you pinned up there. Right. Something else that I wanted to finish off was we have um, all the way down here. We have this station. We don't have any servicing areas down here. We don't have any um, sidings or anything. So we, we need sidings here. So we've got this big junction thing going on here as well. Um, so I think we need like a Fetford vehicle servicing place. But I want to build it to a similar scale to what we have at Plaything Field. So I think... Um, over here is probably a good place for it. So hold your breath everybody. A lot of demolition coming up. Got to be careful not to demolish any tracks here. There we are. Right, so the way this is going to work is we're going to have a series of turn back sidings up here. So let's um Fetford Fast North and pop you there instead. Get rid of you. Fetford Slow North. Something I've learned is put them behind the signals, not in front of. Otherwise you end up with trains running the wrong way. So you're Fetford Fast South. Like so. Fetford slow south. I'm going to have to move this one, aren't I? The annoying thing is, I don't know where to move it to. I have to put it there. And put signals there. Get rid of that. And this will have to sort of be... Uh... I mean, that's not too bad. If I do that and then cap that there. That's actually okay. I can live with that. Right, and then that will move slow south. And actually we'll pop that one there as well. Okay. Uh, just make sure there's no trains that run through here, is there? There are. And I bet it's the... Yeah. So, coming out of Fetford. Which is all the way down here. You don't go via slow south anymore. And that has probably messed this up as well. But that's what today is all about. Today is about making the trains work again. Fetford Fast North, 60 into Fetford, 45 for that slow cu curve. Um, back out here, Fetford, Fetford Fast North. That one. Needs to be 45, I believe. Oh. 
auto fill that. Right. So I believe that works now. And then they'll come out of here, cross over, and then they'll either cross over or they carry on straight. Perfect. Right. So then here we have another set of tracks that break off like so. Now say we have a series of let's do it a bit further, like that. And then we need to actually no. What am I doing? Take it back one. We need to make sure we can fit a train in this gap, like so. Okay. You have to do some more demolition here now. I don't want to demolish too much, but at the same time I kind of want this to work. So that will go there, like that, and then we'll do one like that. Maybe, no, let's do it like that, like that, like that, that one will connect there, that one will connect there, like so, um, I'll pop another crossover there, that should be fine, fixtures there, drag and drop. like so, buffer stops like so right now this is where it's going to get interesting because this is actually going to go up into a huge set of sidings, turnarounds uh, we might even put a loop in here as well although why we'd want that one there I don't really know but you never know you might want to turn your trains um, sure they are running the right way okay so here I have a big area like that no I don't like that you know what a smart person would do a smart person would create a second viewpoint here and then they would fly over to Playfield Field and, and see how they did it There's Fort Hampton, so Playfield Field is this way. There, right. So they go in there, and then across to here, and then up, and it's over here. I should have set up a second viewpoint. Ready? Oh well. So here they're going into here. So I'll have a little set of sidings here. Sort of like that. Um, and I'll put a secondary crossover there. But at the same time, I'm going to have another line that breaks off up this way, which is going to be main line. Right, so this is going to be one set of sidings. Like so. Now, annoyingly, I don't think I can get these to fit in. in or I don't think I can get a depot to fit here. So I'm actually going to make this one tile smaller. Because I think then I will actually be able to fit... Ah, I can fit four in, I can't fit five. That is actually fixable. If I do that. In fact, it's even more fixable if I do this instead. And then actually drag that in. So now I can actually make this six again. 
I reckon. But would I be able to make a depot six long? No. I'm an idiot. Take that back. Okay. And then take that back. Right. Don't need that. Or that. Um, we do need one there. Okay. That is a one way signal, like so. And these will connect up like this. And then. One, two, three, four, five. One depot done. Right, let's carry on up this way. Except let's put a tight turn in here like that. That buys us a little bit more space. Perfect. Actually, I hate that. There's a growing misuse of the word perfect going on in YouTube at the moment. I don't know where this, this is coming from in my head, but it suddenly sprung to mind. I think it's just people are building things and that's the first word they think of, but actually it's not perfect, let's be honest. Most of what people do when they say the word perfect is actually pretty poor. I'm one of those people by the way, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that what I do is good because what I do is just as bad if not worse. But yeah, there's a growing misuse of the word perfect and it's starting to bug me. If you're one of those people, stop. It's not perfect at all. It's terrible. Not perfect. You need to look up the definition of the word perfect. You'll find out immediately that it's not what you've built. Right. Now, most of this is actually going to be aesthetic. This, uh, this depot place. It's not all going to be um, beautiful. It's not really the right word, is it? Anyway, I'm going to pop that there like that, and I'm going to pop a crossover there like that, uh, and I'm going to leave that like so. Right. Like that. And then I should be able to fit Here we are. And then over here, I'm going to drag that to there. No, that doesn't bloody work either. Who says it has to have a depot that side of it anyway? Nobody. Nobody says it has to have a depot that side of it. So why am I doing it? I don't know. We'll just cap that off and be happy about it. Then why am I doing this again? <laughs> there is a reason. I'm sure there is. I just can't remember it right now. Okay, that's one. Uh, here we're not going to have a depot as such. We're going to have a series of tracks again. Sort of another turn back. Right, we'll pop that there like that. You are going to be like that. Like that. Yeah, that looks good. And this is going to go into another series of turnbacks over here. So let's draw that in. And then it'll be in like that, I suppose. No. Let's get rid of those ones. Make sure this is the right length. Could probably get rid of another one actually. There. How long's that? Yes, yeah, so it'll be a signal. <sighs> Uh, 
Actually, I could fit it in if I move it all down one. There. Like that. And then, uh, let's just double check this. Yep, signal goes there. Okay. Now here, I can put that there. That one will go there. That one will also go there. And then, like that. Um, and like that. There's another set of turnback sidings. This one's all done. Now this one has got one depot here, but I reckon if I scrap that, scrap this, uh, cut this back one, and then do that and that, I could actually fit a whole load more in. So let's work this out. One, two, three. Call that four, five. Six. So the signal there. And then I say that's one crossover. We'll pop that one back. We'll pop that one in as well. Like so. Okay. I think I've worked something out here. Um pop a crossover there as well. Alright, then from here let's actually mark these out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All three of these are going to connect up to a single line. The reason there's three, just because literally because I can. Excuse me. There's me sneezing on camera as well. Okay. And then I can actually put another set of, of um, sidings over here if I wanted them. Something like that, a couple of signals there, and then like that, which actually means I can make this slightly bigger if I want to. Let's see, connect that there, connect that there, connect that there. Um, Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Let's do that. Let's get rid of that as well. You're now part of this bit. Pop that one there. So the idea here is to get as, as much train movement as possible. Cancel that for a second. Uh, actually, no, it's not going to work. Actually, uh, yeah, okay. What I'm going to do, take that off, pop that there, pop that there, do that, and then this will be um, one lot separate station and then this will be a second lot we'll pop that there right and then we'll get rid of that and all of those right which one is this called Bambridge transfer this one is and now I'll just go there okay so this is across I suppose Bambridge, Little Chenford, Fort Prinbridge, and Fetford depots. 
that's what all of this is. This here is going to be. Um, now I'm going to I'm going to call this the M4J. I'll put a, a title in in a second. All right, M4J entrance turn back. This is going to be M4J. Uh, five long. Uh, you lot here are M4J sidings two. Um, five to six, isn't it? Five to six. This one here is three. And you're all six length. And this one here is four. And you're also six length. Right, get rid of all of them. So this would be the, the M4J train care facility is what I'm planning on calling it. So let's pop that in. There we are, M4K train care facility. Right. I suppose at this point I should get some trains in, shouldn't I? Should probably go ahead and do that. Alright then, let's do it. So, I'm going to use this short one here. For this, and I'm going to choose some of the slowest trains possible. Let's see, you do 60, you do 75. I'm actually going to choose you. Um, and I need to make you 2.5 in length. There we are. And then I'm going to clone you, like so, and I'm going to move the whole thing in like that. By the way, I should probably pin this depot there. I'm going to pin this depot there, and I'm going to move you to there. Right, so you are going to go to the turn back, and then you're going to come all the way across you're going to go via Fetford. And then hang on. Right, let's do this properly. So you're going to go there. There. And then you're going to go via these two. Now which one does... Okay. So you're going to use platform two. Off Conning Hall Junction. Okay. And then you're going to use platform two again. And then here. Right, before I forget, let's change these to non-stop vias. like so and then here um, got to use this twice I'm going to stop here twice okay and then Fetford slow north All right, now we're cruising. We've got Trunt Hill, then we've got Flowbrook Bay.
Yeah, no, that's fine. I was thinking, is that junction looking a bit off? But actually, I think it looks okay, considering. Right, Chempel Bridge Woods. Um, and then over the bridge, into the WC Approach Slow. And then into here, 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 here. And then from here, you need to go straight through here to Bathingford. Like so. And then from Bathingford, you go straight up here to Runtill, stop twice. Uh, up here to New Honningbury Central. Um, Dardinghatton South. I've just realised I forgot to do something on the other train, so I'm going to have to do that in a second as well. Right, now here, you're actually going to go up via Central Approach, because you're actually going to terminate at GSMA, and you're going to do it in this platform here. All these sets of platforms. Just like that. But we're not done. We are not done because then you come back here via Fetford. You then go into uh, just looking at this actually. I think we need another couple of waypoints. One there and one there. M4J train care entrance. Here we are. Right, so after Fetford, you're going to go into there, and then you're going to go to there, and then you're going to come along here into there, and then you're going to go to there. That is service. That is far end, no loading, no unloading. Uh, that is far end, no loading. Let's see, that's far end, no loading, no unloading. Uh, that one there is far end and GSMA, yep, I've already got that, it's far end, good. And then this set of sidings as well. No loading. No. Stop doing that. No unloading. Right, good. Now I'm going to select this, select timetable, because I forgot to put the stopping times in. Like so, except for this one, which is going to be 500. Uh, the GSGs are probably going to be okay as they are, actually. But the, uh, the depot here two thousand five hundred make sure that's all good I think that should be fine oh this turn back actually could be a bit higher seven hundred and fifty something like that right now this one oh boy okay this is the bit I hate doing the most is this I don't mind the stop times it's the speed limits that I don't like so here, max speed limit is going to be 30. Maximum, the absolute maximum speed limit in this depot is going to be 30, but some bits, like these screeching corners, they're probably going to be even slower. So actually, I might even do 20. It's the maximum speed. And then once you get out here, this is all fine. This corner here, of course, has to be 45. Um right thirty fifteen thirty 
here, 45. I don't think I have to slow down for this bit because this train's maximum speed is 75 miles an hour which I think is about right for this so I think down here we're all good but here it has to slow down to 30 all the way to Bafingford and then out of Bafingford we're all good until we get to the central approach 30, 15, 30, and then again we're good all the way down till we get to Bafingford. Hopefully the other train's got this set up, I didn't actually check. Uh, not this one, but the other train that already uses this set of tracks. Didn't actually check that. Alright, so your 30 is all the way down to here. And then once you get to Fetford, which is there, it's a 45 round that curve. Uh, here is 30. And 15. 30. This curve here is 45. Okay this bit here is um, 20 do I do 20 up here I did actually here because it's going into a, a dead end I think it should be 15 and then here I'm going to do 20 and then here I'm going to do 15 and here I'm going to do 15 right that's the speed limit's done now we've got the stop times, 2.50 and all of these, except for, actually yeah, 2.50 here should be quite reasonable, it should give the driver enough time to head down the other end of the train. I should also really be using this type of platform here, because it is going to involve people walking. Mind you, a lot of our ones here are, I might even change some of these to use sheds instead of this bog standard depot um, where are they up here modular sheds oh you actually have to get rid of these first so what were you three Yeah, that looks alright. No, I can do it like that. Don't know what it's talking about. I just randomly dot these around. Pop one there. Pop one of them there, and one of those there. That decorates it a bit more, doesn't it? I'm sure I'll pop down some other stuff as well. Anyway, um, that's all good. Here is going to be 750. And then all of these are obviously going to be 250 until we get to GSMA, where it's also going to be 750. And then back down here is all going to be good again until we get to the junction, where it's going to be 500. Okay, and then turn back there is going to be fine. That's going to be 250, and then this one here is going to be 1500. Autofill. And I'm going to clone this. Nine more times. There should be ten in total, and I really messed that up, didn't I? Hang on. Try that again, shall we? 
Right, so this is part of the Southern franchise, this one. And this is ASE CJ to GSMA. And you are 10 units long. Now we'll go find it. There it is. No, there it is. Drag you in. There we are. What are these CSs? By the way. Oh, they are what used to be. Okay. But this is the one in question. We get the ungrouped. We drag it down into there. And now we clone it nine more times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we'll start you up as well. Right, so again, you get a, a, a glimpse as to what it is I'm trying to do here. Um, I'm going to be changing more of these. In fact, that one I'm going to get rid of. And those ungrouped trains I'm going to put into withdrawn electric. Because I've just realized I've done the same thing twice. Which is never a good thing. But then that's part of the deal, isn't it? That's kind of what we're doing here. Right, this one goes to Humphinwell Junction. Yeah, what's the other one we did? Actually, that should go into um, North-South, that one. So, let's see, WCGSG. Yeah, uh, FH to CJ. So, that's Fort Hampton, and this is going the other way. So, that should be alright, actually. So I might as well do this one whilst we're here. Yeah, see, I don't want to get rid of shared orders. So I'm going to delete all of this. Right, I just want to check one more thing actually. This is semi fast. Yeah. Okay, so this one here, it would help if the trains were the same length, really, wouldn't it? I can do that though. Um, I'm going to change you. Semi fast electric B. Why is that still coming up higher than that one? Oh, because I put spaces in. There we go. Right. Minimize that. Get rid of that. Select this. Are they all in here? I'm going to pin this. I'm going to pin you first of all. I'm going to pin this so I don't accidentally close it. I'm going to drag it all the way out. So you are number 171. So let's get rid of that train. That bit. And do we have excess carriages at the bottom? I believe we do. But I can't get the screen big enough to actually be able to select them. And I can't scroll. We basically have to borrow carriages from another train for this to work. Luckily we've got one here. Does, are these the right carriages? No. Are these the right carriages? No. <sighs> right. Um, open this up again quickly. 173, 4, 6, 7. Basically all of the 170s. So anything after 170 like here I can use. In fact anything before 170 I could use as well. So I need to make this train six long. Which it just was. There we are. Uh, I think that's the right length. Is that the right length? Yeah. Okay, so now I need to do that with all the others. But for now, I'm just going to do it with this one. Get rid of that as well. Put that back to its proper size. Right, so you are this one. 
Uh, I need to put signals on this approach, otherwise it's not going to work. There we are. So you're going to go to there. You'll probably start with um, See, I don't know, because it's, 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 it, it has to approach from Renway. Which means the majority of what it's doing down here. Yeah, do you know what? Screw it. Because I just thought of the way of so sorting that out anyway. Pop that like that. And then you're not going to go into this set of sidings. You're probably going to go into uh, this set up here. and then into one of these depots, probably the one down the far end like that Oops. right uh, and then before all that I think I've done this wrong Yeah, that one needs to move there. That's what I've done wrong. Okay. Right. From that, um, you're then going to go via this twice. And then you're going to go via Fetford twice. Non-stop via. Non-stop via. And then you'll go via another. Um... Here you go via Great Sainington twice. Non stop via. Non stop via. Now, over here, I'm very tempted to convert another platform here into. Um, terminus. So let's see. If I move that there, get rid of that, pop that as a crossover like that, or straight across like that, that can then connect up there, and that will connect up there. Put this in as a separate waypoint, you'll become platform 3. like that uh, like that just make sure this is indeed a terminus I need to do some building demolition here so I can actually see what I'm doing alright single sided platform select that one by one do that down here to buffer stop select the right one which is that one and pop you in like that awesome right now after this you're going to go via here twice you're going to go via here twice under the tunnel Via here twice. Via here twice. After Fetford, you're going to go onto the fast tracks. And this train is going to stay on the fast tracks. You're going to go right the way through there. Right the way through here. You're going to keep going this way. all the way to the approach fast here this point here you're going to go through there, there, there and there you're then going to leave on the fast tracks through the tunnel out the other side all the way up here, all the way along here, all the way through here, over here, down here stop at Bredhatton 
all the way through here, along here. You're then going to go via uh, through there. You're going to go. For some reason I put two sets of approaches in. I suppose I could use them. Like that. You're then going to go via there, 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 and there. As before. Through Guard City Exchange. Like so. Through here. Like so. Right, yeah. Sorry. I just suddenly had a horrible thought what if the train isn't compatible with um, overhead electric? But then it must be because it already was running on uh, overhead electric and third rail. So, yeah, no problems there, hopefully. Okay. Then from here. Um, trying to think which way to go is. I think it's this way, actually, because it'll be here. So it's got to cross over that way. Because I don't think. Yeah, because to get onto this one, it has to go all the way up and over and along. Oh, uh, that's the wrong one. So yeah, it's even further over then. So yeah, we then go via the Runding Hatton slow. Like that, which takes us up this way uh, to Brenfingberg. Okay, and then after Brenfingberg, I think we're going to hit the slow lines like that, and then the fast lines like this. In fact, can I get into Hunfingwell from the fast line? I'm not sure I can. No, I can't. So, forget that. We'll be staying on the slow line throughout at this point. That's fine, though. We could add some extra stops. That's cool. Right, Chundington slow north. Okay, and then Binborn. So I want to say something about Binborn not being a very nice place to live. Because of its name. Mm, I think in England... I mean, I said about one of the quirkiness... One of the quirkinesses of the game is its bad town names. But actually, in England, we do have worse town names. So, it's not that bad, actually. Because if you live there all your life, Binborn, it's just Binborn, isn't it? It's like, it's a name. You don't associate it with anything else at that point because you're so used to it. It's very easy from someone outside somewhere to judge something. Um, but once you're inside, you know, it's almost like a sense of loyalty. You want to stand up for it and say, actually, that's not fair. So I, I feel like that with Binborn. It's on my map. I've fallen in love with it. We've got loads of trains stopping there. Leave my Binborn alone. That's what I say to you. Right, south slow, and you're also going to terminate up in this platform. Okay, I think. Uh, let's go over here. I think this is the entirety of the route. So that needs to be far end, no loading, no unloading. Like so. Uh, yep, these are all good. That is far end. These are all good. It's back down this end. There, no loading. There, no loading, no unloading. There, no loading, no unloading. Service. No loading. No unloading. Perfect. Not perfect. Stop saying perfect. It's not perfect at all. It's terrible. Right. Here. 
here. Dirty, why not? Out to Fetford. In fact, this is going to be a maximum speed limit of 75. Now I'm working with a train that goes over 75 miles per hour. I have to include that, really. Um, after Fetford, it's 45. Okay, and then here. Actually, what is the, the speed limit down here? I did have one set. I'm sure I had one set. Conning Hall, Conning Hall, Conning Hall. Back up this way. Yeah, 60. 60 all the way through. So I might as well make this 60 as well then. Okay. Great Sainington, 60. Here, 30. Uh, 15. Thirty. Oops. Sixty. 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 Uh, sixty. Right then, bomb. Maximum speed, all the way over to here where it's thirty. And then. I suppose I could do 30 again here, 30 again uh, here. Yep, that's all 60 until we get to this one where it goes down. Sorry, that's all max speed until we get to this one where it goes to 60. And then this one where it goes to 30. And then it's 30 all the way through God City. I was actually re watching some of my old videos the other day. And I couldn't believe how late in the series Guard City actually expanded to what it is now. Um, I know I've added some more towns and stuff in since then as well, which has helped. But, oh my, I'm talking like 20, 30 episodes ago. Guard City was still tiny compared to what it is now. It's unbelievable. In fact, episode 100 was one of the ones that I watched. And it was tiny! It was so small. I couldn't believe it. So it's, it's amazing how fast the, the town has grown. It's absolutely amazing. Right, that's 30. And then we hit the South Slow again. Do, do, do. All the way through. Uh, not Binborn, Brenfingberg is where it hits 60. And then here is where it hits 30. Scroll all the way down here. And then it's 30 all the way through here. 30. 30. 30. My phone is really happy to see me today. It keeps beeping. Why? Emails mostly. Right. 60. And then 100 again through Bread Hatton. Here it goes down to 30. 30. In fact, 20. 30. Before I forget, back up here. Uh, there. Might as well. Right. Approach fast, good. Fetford fast north. That's where it hits 60. And then after Fetford, 45. Great Sainington, 60. 60. 30, 15, nearly done everyone, nearly done, 30, 60, 45, 60, 
20. Uh, 20. It's going into a dead end. 15. 15. And 20. Autofill. Now I've got to do the, the uh, actual stops. Again, this is quite easy. This bit is quite easy. So Conning Hall Junction here is going to be 750. And um, Huntingwell Junction is going to be 750. This Conning Hall Junction is going to be 500 because it is a full on empty. Um, so yeah, it's going to be this. It's going to be 1,250, and this one is going to be 1,250, which makes 2,500 in total. And then the stop in the depot is probably going to be 500 rather than 250. Okay. Is that done? Last thing to check. Actually, that one isn't affected. This one is affected. So I've got to make sure after so that one there, maximum speed is 60. 60. 60. 60, 60, then you're out on the main line, you go full speed. Coming back, Fetford slow north, 60, 60, 60. Out of here, 60. 60. Okay. And then finally, before I set this off, I'm going to make sure it's on its way back. So after after Hunfingwell. Somewhere like that just so that it's going at a good speed. I'm going to follow that train on its journey. All right then, guys. That does it for today. It's a long one today, actually. I tried to make it short. There you go. Maybe I'll time lapse it and do a different audio over the top instead. I don't know. I probably will just upload it like this because I like you guys to get see what I do when I'm making these services. But that does it for today and for this week. Now, I will say, next week is my break. I take a break. I need a break. Um, I sacrificed my last probably two breaks actually to make up for missed videos but I do need a break uh, this gets a bit intensive after a while um, and there are there have been some comments from people recently which actually no that's not fair I'm not going to say it like that there's been one set of comments that has sort of made me think mm, maybe I need to take, take a break because people keep questioning my methods and that's I mean there's questioning people's methods and then there's constantly asking why and I think that's crossed the line there so I'm going to take a week break um, to actually plan things out again and then we'll come back stronger in two weeks time so until then guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and of course if you enjoyed the series drop some comments down below with ideas for future episodes and of course if you want to claim a franchise as yours um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel be sure to hit the subscribe button if you have already subscribed to the channel thank you guys for your continued support and until next time I will see you soon <laughs>